Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we were tracking some strong showers and thunderstorms off to our west earlier in the evening. They've since kind of fizzled out as they work their way into some less favorable air for them to survive. So we're dry right now. Threat tracker for the overnight. Low chance for any severe weather. I think the same for tomorrow as well. Tomorrow looks like a pretty decent day. Wednesday, low chance for severe weather, though watching for the chance of a shower or a thunderstorm. We'll talk all about that in a second. Here's Providence right now. We've got dry skies overhead. We have a blend of clouds and stars. Temperature of 70. Wind from the southeast currently at about 6 miles an hour. 64 up in Smithfield, so a little cooler there. 63 Taunton and New Bedford. 66 in Richmond. Westerly right now is at 70. So we had those showers and thunderstorms kind of dry up over the last couple of hours or so. Big old area of showers and thunder across New York, New Jersey. Still going on. And we still have this area of low pressure, and it's associated associated rain kind of spinning around down here. This is going to be working its way on off to the north and east and then work its way up the coastline. If as a, if it works a little bit farther on off to the east and moves over some warmer water. It's possible this could gain some tropical characteristics at the moment. It looks like it'll be just a plain old coastal storm, but bringing us some much needed rain later in the week. We'll talk about the timing in a second. Hour by hour forecast will time the uh, overnight and into your Tuesday morning. Notice lots of clouds around again, maybe a little patchy fog near the coastline. That'll quickly burn off tomorrow morning in the afternoon. We'll call it partly to mostly sunny, looking like a really nice day and we'll keep the dry skies into the evening. So rain and storm free for us on Tuesday. Tuesday morning breaks down like this, looking at six 60s early on, getting into the mid 70s by noontime. And in the afternoon, we're looking at temperatures to be topping out in the mid to upper 70s, maybe just a smidge cooler than uh, average for the time of year. Also, some good news will be a little bit less humid. I think we're looking at lower humidity levels for Tuesday, uh, at least until midday. And then the humidity levels begin to rise once again. And we're looking at some fairly humid conditions as we head into the weekend. So the beach forecast for tomorrow. Temperatures I'm thinking about 79 degrees or so on the sand out in the bay. Winds from the southeast and south 5 to 10 knots. Visibility looks okay. Waves generally 1 to 3 feet in the bay. 7 day forecast now on Wednesday we are going to be looking at the possibility of a shower to begin the day and then maybe a thunderstorm later on in the day and it'll be a little bit more humid as well on uh, Wednesday. Thursday maybe a shower or a thunderstorm. Look at that temperature up around 88 degrees in the afternoon with high humidity. And then Friday, we see that storm system working its way up the coastline, uh, looking at that coastal storm, maybe a soaking rain primarily during the afternoon and evening and perhaps a heavy rain Friday night and into Saturday morning. Clearly, uh, the second half of this upcoming weekend looks to be a little bit better, Kim. Yeah, TJ, it looks like we've got quite the mix of some showers, some sun, a little bit of back and forth. Some heat, some humidity, a little bit for everybody this week. A little week. bit for everyone. All right, TJ, thanks. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 10, 